it's three. All right, so Simone Holder, we're gonna give it up. This is my first time seeing Simone Holder. I know she's gonna come out here and kill it. So I'm uh, let's give her a round of applause for Miss Simone Holder. The spotlight. Thank you, thank you. I hope you guys will understand me with my thick Canadian accent. So I hope uh, I hope it's okay. So you know that saying, uh, pictures don't do him or her justice. That doesn't apply to me. Pictures do me too much justice. Um, I'm ridiculously photogenic to the point that when you do meet me in person, I'm like ugly by comparison. And people seem to want me to have a boyfriend, to date. So they're always encouraging me to go online. And, you know, they say, oh, you never know, you never know. And it's true. You never know. I could meet the love of my life or my killer online. And uh, I guess that's part of the thrill of online dating. <laughs> How soon should you spring a kink on someone, on your partner? My vote is never <laughs> because I'm worried that I'm the kink yeah. and it's happened. It's happened. Uh, I've always wanted to be slapped around during sex by a beautiful black woman. <laughs> Fuck you, Kyle. Now I got to punch you in the throat. <laughs> you know? and i really don't like references to my skin tone or anything like that you know i've been called you know a thick piece of chocolate pie uh chocolate bunny all those stupid things and i hate it i hate it you know because i first of all i think they're stupid they're corny they're low-key racist and they render me instantly irritated and bone dry <laughs> and I don't like being irritated and bone dry because that shit hurts to walk. <laughs> I read a man's online profile very carefully. You know, I pass on profiles that have words like active or fit or healthy, you know, and I skip the ones that have pictures of him like hiking and biking and eating salad because that means that at some point, He's going to want to drag my fat black ass up the side of a mountain for a hike. No, no, no. Okay. Give me the cute guy covered in cookie crumbs and passed out on the couch. That's Yay. who I want. Okay. <laughs> That's who I want. Me too. <laughs> and uh, recently I had to, I declined an unsolicited offer to send me some dick pics. And this guy was really upset. He was really angry. And he, re he replied with, you're a bitch. I was appalled by his improper use of your. <laughs> Y-O-U-R is the second person possessive used to describe something belonging to you. Y-O-U apostrophe R-E is a contraction of you are, you illiterate ass bitch. <laughs> Someone once asked me if I was afraid to end up alone forever. One minute. Okay. Someone asked me if I was alone, uh, afraid of ending up alone forever. And the short answer is yes. And it's already happening. But I thought it was really insensitive because when they asked me, my cats were right there. <laughs> <laughs> so I have two cats, Casey and Boo. Casey is shy and she only tolerates me and Boo. And Boo is 10. And if I were a cat, I'd be Boo. And if Boo were a person, she'd be me. Because we're both cute. We're both friendly. We're both motivated by food. And we both love to be aggressively stroked. That's it. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Thank you. Good job. Good job.